Yeah. And Kev, we're not going to ask you anything. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and a game like that, at what point do you start thinking that you were, were going to go in? Um, I never want to think about it too much because you never know how games will go. But, but, I mean, the way we came out, the way we were playing today, I mean, at the end of the first half, I was like, oh, man, yeah, maybe this one game I might, I might get in. <laughs> Do you go into games thinking when you hear the scouting report or you read about them thinking this might be one I get to play in? Uh, so, I mean, sometimes I think about it, I mean, but not not too much. I'm just, I just want to win the game, for real. Yeah. You have to, you've had uh, you know, several years here where you don't play a whole lot, and obviously you know that's going to happen. But you, a game like today, does it kind of make it all, all worth it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, days like today, my teammates playing well, and then we're out by a lot, and I'll get in. I mean, I love that. I think uh, last year against, I want to say, Tulane, I got about six minutes or something like that, too. So, yeah, it definitely makes it worth it. Just the first time you can remember thinking at halftime that you might get in <laughs> that early? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think we played, we played, we played real well against the team last year, and I was thinking about that, too. So. <laughs> Kevin, uh, what did what did the scouting report say against this team? Um, just they're a good team. Uh, they I think they were picked to win uh, the conference. Uh, they got two all league players on the team, so it was just basically uh, don't underestimate our opponent. Let's try to keep them out the lane. Basically, what we do every day, smother them with defense. Um, it's not necessarily about them. Uh, we've been stressing it's more about us, uh, our defense, smothering people, and and learning how to win when the shots not fall. Uh, today, that's what we wanted to do. Uh, we put up 50 plus deflections, which is for us is like scoring 50 points in the game. So it's very important for us, and we was able to accomplish one of our goals today. You probably don't know this, so I'm surprised if you did, but that's the fifth highest point total in school history that you have today. What uh, do you yeah. think about that? Uh, that's awesome, man. Uh, definitely being a senior, but it's more just today I felt that we had a good rhythm uh, offensively, defensively, was communicating, and like I said, we got to our goal, which uh, was 40 plus deflections, and today we got 50 plus. So I can lead the jump uh, with a big smile today. How much of a spark lately have Justin and Trey been giving you guys off the bench? It seems like they provide a little bit different energy when they come in and, and, and get things started. Ah, uh, yes, man. Uh, speed and athletic demons, man. Playing against them every day. That's, one run and one can jump out of the gym. So when they come in and they just do what they do, they start to find their rhythm. Uh, Trey starting to find his points on the floor and improving. So uh, that'll be great for us uh, going deep in the, deep down in the season now where people might not expect them to do that. And we need that coming off our bench definitely, uh, defensively and offensively. Now, what would your second fight do against your first fight? Uh, they, they, you guys compete. They know, uh, I'm not going to lie. They compete every day in practice with us. And they give us problems. To be honest, so it's great to have a, a five unit like that where you can compete every day. And they found our weaknesses as a what we call it the black team versus the red team. They found our weaknesses, and I know they can play. Uh, these guys are good, and uh, we expect them to do what they did today. Who's, I'm a, who's black and who's red? Uh, Star five is a uh, black. Black. Okay. Second five is red. Well, yeah. well, would the red team have, have given you as good a game today as FDU did? No lie, yeah, that that whew, huh? that'd, be, that'd be a tough game. Yeah, that'd be a tough game, but uh, that's that's no knock on FDU, man. That's a great team with great players as well. But those guys come to play, and, and they they got Bearcat syndrome, so they they not they're not going nowhere, man. They're pretty tough. How these past couple, two games, they've, they've, the bench has scored 107 points, and that's been something in the big games that hasn't translated. How do, what do you tell those guys when things step up, when conference play starts? These, you know, we need this version of you, and yeah. not the passive version. Yeah, um, it's all a process, man. Just being a player and being an older guy, I understand some of the things they go through. I just tell them to continue to stay aggressive, stay confident. You know, you got coach, you got fans, you got parents. It's, it's a lot on the plate, but I tell them, man, just go out and play like you play in practice, man. Relax. Regardless of the shot go in or not, let's play some defense. Let's do the intangibles, getting rebounds, deflections. And, hey, the game will work itself out, man. You never know what day you get. Some shots go in, sometimes they don't. But just stay with it, man. And at the end of the day, our main goal is to win. So as long as we do that, we will all be happy. What was your reaction? And Zach, I wanted to start with you, just kind of a question for both of you guys. I saw your reaction on the Jacob Evans uh, one-handed hoop throw down. Oh, yeah. Just what was your reaction on that play? I, I was just shocked because I didn't even really see it. I mean, 
when I was looking at like towards half court or whatever, and I saw Troy lob it up to him because I, I didn't even see him coming, and he threw it down. I mean, it was it was a nice play. <laughs> he is being Tom Tanner right there. Yeah. You guys see him do that kind of stuff, I know, but to see oh. that happen in a game, Kevin, like that. Um, just what is it like for you as a, as a player, as a teammate of his? Oh, man, that get me excited. That get me going. <laughs> that get the juices slow when I yeah. see stuff like this. So, uh, that was good to see. Uh, to be honest, we was replaying that in the locker room about five minutes ago. So <laughs> we're going to be watching that a couple times today. Kevin, I think all four years, you struggled a little bit in November. And then December hits, and you start to take off. Is that – what is it? I mean, where does that come from? Is it just, just finding a rhythm or yeah, putting too much pressure on yourself? A little bit of both, man. Uh, I'm a rhythm player. Uh, just slowing down. I'm just starting to get in my rhythm, man. Understanding my spots on the floor, picking, and also just going out to practice, standing, and shooting, trying to get my rhythm and just learning the game. Not not taking too much into consideration, but just playing ball and definitely want to win. And now some shots starting to fall. It's just. It's little things, man, little things that I, you always got to go back and watch. And Coach Davis been helping me with my shot and my technique again. So it's just today I was able to go in and, and, and give me some more confidence behind the line. Kevin, you had 15 by halftime matching your career high. Did you feel going into the game, did you feel, were you feeling good about? I go in the game, every game feeling well. Um, like I said, I don't always depend on making shots. Uh, at the end of the day, I want to win. I, I want to play defense, provide energy, and get some steals and some easy points as well. So when the ball go in, it just uh, honestly take my game to another level and just help me do what I want to do for my team. Zach, did you pull Justin aside and let him know you were open when he That's faked that shot. behind the back pass for the layup? There was that, but when I set that screen for him, I told him, I told him every day, I'm like, you said, I set a screen for you. I was like, I'll get you open. I'll get you open for a bucket. Did you tell him you should have passed it? He had you. Uh, he faked it behind the back. Nah, the well, because he shouldn't have passed it the first time. Because <laughs> the guy was playing me the first time. That's so why I got, got into a charge or whatever. So he kept, the guy kept playing me both times. I'll let him score. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, Thank you, Tobler.